もしそうだとするとそのチェックはどうしたらいいんでしょうかあ,あ。Let me explain with a diagram. But, but first I will make a comment. One of the things that makes the ARCS model unique, of course, is the ARCS categories. But the other thing that makes it unique is the invention of this strategy for analyzing learners' motivation. It's very important to analyze motivation in the context of the ARCS model because it's a problem-solving model. Many of the other motivational models that exist are prescriptive. They tell you what to do. Do this to motivate your students. Do that to motivate your students. My answer is analyze your audience and then you decide what to do to motivate your students. So you have to decide whether the attention level or curiosity levels are too low. If it's too low, then they're, they'll, they'll be bored. They won't be interested. On the other hand, if their attention level or curiosity levels are too high, they'll be nervous. They'll be looking all around and it'll be very difficult for you to get their attention and keep their attention. All right? With relevance, it's the same thing. If the relevance is too low, they ask, why do I have to study this? You know, I don't think it's important. Uh, it's up to you as an instructor to explain why it's important, to help them understand why it's important. And then, the, and then relevance can be too high. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get a job. I'm not going to graduate if I don't pass this test. So they're so nervous about passing the test because it's so relevant to their future that that causes stress. Well, in the book, uh, I give a detailed explanation for how to utilize this, this inverted U-curve, we call it, to determine whether the motivation level of your learners is too low, too high, or just right. And if it's too low or too high, you have to use enhancement strategies to improve it. If the motivation level is okay, then you use sustaining strategies to maintain the motivation. So that this model combined with the four categories are what constitute the ARCS systematic motivational design process.